Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tricky Rickies, where today we're building a blockwork wall off of this bit of a timber frame. Timber frame, we're going to be adjoining into here, but the kind of is coming down as well. So, let's get loaded out, get this bad boy going. Well, I've got the wall set out now, and there's the marks where it's going through, lining through there. Started a bit of muck along the floor here, so I can run a damp along it. I always just put a little bit down, then it sticks. It's nothing worse than having a damp tray. You put it down, and the end rolls up, and it all flicks all over the place. So I just put a little bit of muck down, it sticks down, it won't go anywhere then. Right, there we go. I've set my first block there, so I'm going to do my bond off of this end. I've dotted one down the other end. I don't know if that's in the right position yet. We'll find out as I run four blocks this way, but wherever it is, it's going to be a cut at that end anyway. So I'm going to leave this bit down for a little while because I've still, still got to go in here. So for now, I'm just going to run along there. Look how the damp tray's all stuck down nicely, not blowing around. Happy days. So we're going to run these through here now. And we've got a fur fix. This has been screwed into a bit of stud. We've got the uh, vertical damp up there. So I'm going to do a rack up this end and then go from there. So first of all, I'm going to get my bed all the way along the wall. I like to get on the first course, get the bed all the way along and I'll sort of bump it up just a little bit, just in case there's any indifference in the floor so I can get over any like little little bits that are wrong in the floor, but it wasn't too bad as it goes. get a bit of a rack up. Here you ask, what is today's offering? <laughs> We've gone for the pigs under blankets. Not the first time I've had a pig under a blanket. <laughs> right, that's as high as I can go with that for today. There's a quite a lot there, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine conkers high. It's all upright though. It's all good. We're nice and flat. Happy days. Boom, we're all good. Nice and upright, that's the main thing. So we're gonna let that go off. Now the next little job, it's right behind me here, this steel. We've got some messing around to do with this. There we go, I've just put in all the slips along here. Passed them all in, look, they're all in there, you can see them. Nice. When they release the strong boys here now, they'll go down on there. When we, once it's all gone off, we can take the strong boys up and then fill in the holes afterwards. For the moment, while that's green, 
keep the strong boys in that holds up and supports this wall well yeah good <laughs> right back again now we're going to continue this wall through here now and up here basically you're going to box this steel in so we're going to do a corner there and then this piece is going to have a little like a leg come out here and box it over the other side but you'll see it happening as we do it We've got a few temporary pipes, that, well, pipes that are here, but they're going to be cut off later on, but we can't take them off yet. So I've blocked around them. Ingenuity there, look. Come on. Took you with the tricks. <laughs> so there we go, there's the steel all encased from the other side. So now I'm going to go from where I put these wall ties out of the wall and into this wall. We've got some wall starter outlets here to use, get into the bed joints. So we'll tie it in double through there. Give me a damp tray, it's already established underneath there. Look, unroll that. We can butter up that side, and then that steel's completely encased then. Nice, nearly done. There we go, all the ties in, we've got the outlets in there as well. Keeping that nice and secure up there. And then I'll just put you some muck up there. I brought it just a touch away from the wall because we've got a few scabby bits on here and that, but that'll keep it so we side up there nicely. Nice. Racked right up high. So for today, on this little build here, that's as far as I can get. So, on that bombshell, cheers for tuning in. And thank you all for tuning in throughout the whole year. Happy Christmas to you all. Hope you have a brilliant time with your families, friends, whatever you get up to. Have a good time. Stay safe. Don't drink and drive. You know the crack. Yeah, and have a prosperous new year, yeah? And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys and girls. Peace out and pow.